What's going on guys? VBP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We have a special guest on this one today. It's the budget beast. So this is cool. This is awesome. Uh this is the budget beast. This is um Morris's bar top. It is it has come back to my hands. Uh shout out to Morris. He is the first one ever to really like let me get a chance as far as putting a PC inside of a Game Room Solutions bar top. So it has come back. Uh, Mars checks out the videos and uh, he sees a couple things that I'm doing with Eugene's build and he kind of wanted to add some things. So very simple add-ons today, not simple meaning that are one, two, three. I mean, you know, I spent about maybe I would say four or five hours working on it. He only had a couple requests. He wanted Streets of Rage. He wanted Street Fighter V Champion Edition and he did want one specific Nintendo Switch game. So uh, he was watching on the videos, he messaged me. I did a quick test on the Switch game that he wanted. Turns out the Switch game is great emulation as far as compatibility on Yuzu. And I put it in his bar top. So again, this right now is the Budget Beast, my first ever bar top with a PC in it. A Dell Optiplex inside of this running a GTX 1050 Ti. This is a five terabyte drive that's in it so i could real quick open up the door um i'm on a slant a little bit so i really don't want to mess up the door but just real quick to time to take a look because there's a lot of people that i do request it that is a low profile 1050 ti again a dell optiplex look at that with the fans still intact all the leds working everything working mar says that everything's good so far he's been enjoying it it's been a year uh since basically he's had it in his hands. I did some updating basically. We updated the pinball games. I There's a new pinball arcade that got updated. FX3 got updated. And basically now I'm finishing up all the details. Uh, Mars did request he wanted, um, basically I did have Apex Legends on this and Fortnite. He said, hey Vic, listen, you could delete those if it frees up any space and maybe put some new stuff on it. Uh, he did want to do some, uh, he wanted to do some racing games. So I gave him a lot. There's like, you know, a new motorcycle game, a motocross game, uh, Project Cars 2, uh, a couple of things that we went into it. But again, really cool and very happy to see the Budget Beast back. Brings back memories. It's awesome. Love the build. And it's just in time because we are going to start working on Eugene's um, bar top. So it's really cool to kind of get a blast in the past. So still runs great. Again, a Dell Optiplex. I believe this was not a small form factor Dell Optiplex. This is a regular Dell Optiplex. I think it was like a 7010. I don't remember. Uh, but basically real quick, just to kind of show you what we're doing. Uh, computer's going to slow down a little bit because we are, I'm still transferring files. So there is stuff happening in the background. But we do have the Nintendo Switch up. Uh, he only wanted one game. So it's there. There is the whole list of games, but basically ultra street fighter 2 was the one that he requested i'll show you that in a second but i did want to show you um street fighter 4 on this so go into pc games on this again we do have streets of rage 4 and street fighter 5 champion edition so again one button and one button only it will go through the executable and launch the game loading complete and still amazing the dot optiplex playing this game on high graphics setting so it's a beautiful beautiful system budget beast uh again you don't need a super high-end outperformance pc to run these things to be brutally honest though this is playing high graphics settings eugene's plays ultra so you know kind of with that you know modern gen current gen motherboard and such you are able to pull off some stuff but in all honesty i mean it might be noticeable to, to many people not really noticeable to some but to see street fighter 5 run on this is pretty amazing i mean it's always run on it but it's just amazing at how it always you know basically runs again i do get a lot of requests of people saying like hey vic do i need a really balls to the wall system to run games like this i mean it depends again dell optiplex gtx 1050 ti and again we have the arcade sticks running on this just to kind of show Morris when he gets it. Again, two player arcade stick Street Fighter V. Sound system, this was the Z313. Still active, subwoofer and all, still doing great. Two, 
And again, we have all the updated characters and such. I never saw Guile on this. Oh no, I did do Guile in my other uh, Instagram video. So again, only main request was Street Fighter V Champion Edition, Streets of Rage 4, which I'll go through real quick, and the Nintendo Switch game. But again, I have it in my hands, I have a lot of games, so I am updating basically a lot of PC games to it, as those are easy, quick games to download. So again, Dell Optiplex, settings are set to high on this. So again, as you can see, one-handed Hadouken, there you go. Can we do a sonic boom? There you go, there's a sonic boom right there, second try. But yes, as you can see, we do have Street Fighter V Champion Edition. I'm gonna exit out. Let's load up some Streets of Rage. So again, you exit out, we go to Streets of Rage. Um, so I said this inside of my uh, Instagram video uh, for story. Uh, Streets of Rage, for some reason, I mean, it doesn't happen on all the games. It's like, this is the one game that's kind of rare that this happens. But for some reason, it's not recognizing my arcade sticks in the menu. So this works if I press enter. But as you can see right now, the joystick doesn't work, but it's only in the menu. So you do need your keyboard handy. So you could at least kind of go in and select your characters. And also remember, player two cannot uh, play. It w does not recognize player two. So player two will need to be the Xbox controller. So once you kind of select your character with the joy with the keyboard and you could skip the scene the game will be playable with the arcade sticks now i'm not sure why it's just a menu but as you can see i have this set to punch the jump there's like a super and a back punch and all that so as you can see so again we do have this this will also happen with eugene's bar top also where you kind of need the keyboard Again, it's just kind of like the game. Uh, keep in mind these games, you know, they are cracked. So it might have to do something with that. We don't have Steam running in the background. So just keep that in mind. So this is all good. Um, you could do escape and it'll actually turn off that executable on that. Uh, while we're at it, the real quick thing that we want to see and I want to show uh, Morris is the Nintendo Switch. He only had one game. It was shocking to me, and I would never even know that this was a game. Nintendo Switch, I don't have any of the videos or graphics or all that. We just have the logo, but you basically one button and one button only, and it will load up the game. Just give it a few. That's how I said it. I remember it a year ago. It's literally one button and one button only. That's all you have to do. Just let it boot up. Again, we are using Yuzu. You'll see it'll boot up and everything. Also, remember, I am transferring files in the background. This Dell Optiplex is not using an SSD. There is no SSDs at all in this. So it's all hard drives, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, just real quick, the thing about uh, this is that you'll hear like a video. There's just no video on it, but that's okay because you could just press start and you're in. So we have Nintendo Switch controllers mapped out to the arcade sticks. And yes, Versus does work. Player 2 does work. So. If I load this up, again, I can't wait to even show this on all the bar tops and especially Eugene's, but this is like awesome. I shout out again to um, Morris for telling me about this game because I didn't even know it. Apparently this is an only exclusive Nintendo Switch game. And it's really cool. Like you see the graphics on it. And again, as you can see, one-handed Adukins. Let's see if I could get a one-handed Sonic Boom. I'm in, I'm in an awkward position. Let me switch my hands. Let's see. There's a Sonic Boom. So again, really cool. I mean, it's literally Street Fighter 2, and it's just very nice. And as you can see right now, this, though, keep in mind, this game on the compatibility list for Yuzu is great. It's considered great. So I remember you, uh, Morris, was like messaging me and saying, hey, Vic, does this game work? Does this game work? I officially tested it about two days ago, and then he pulled the trigger and bought the bar top back to me. So, very cool, awesome stuff. And it's great, it works out very good. I've only played one or two matches, but so far, I mean, if it plays this well, I'm pretty sure it plays it all. Same thing with these, you could just escape out, 
and then we're back to the main menu okay so just keep in mind though for mars for you buddy the other games for the whole switch is there it's just ultra street fighter is the only one that will actually work the other roms i did not put on because there's not enough room on the hard drive but so far so good i also just to see it because i do see it here um there are a couple pc games that i have launched on main menu on hyperspin only because i remember with the hard disk drive um basically like games like tekken 7 i remember that it would load up and then it took like a minute to you know load up a tekken 7 logo and then hyperspin would give us an error so those you know the real way to kind of avoid that is that i put it on the main menu to avoid that but as of right now it's all smooth uh he did ask me if killer instinct was on this you do definitely have it uh i added skull girls for you buddy that's a new game um it's actually very competitive very surprised uh let's just see real quick there's killer instinct so you do have killer instinct buddy again one button and one button only loading complete it's just great it's literally great it's, it's amazing to literally see it in my hands again the dell budget beast is back mars did ask me if he did have it And I remember when he mentioned, he's like, do I have Killer Instinct? I was like, yes, I actually downloaded it for you uh, as I wanted arcade modern PC fighting games on this cabinet. Again, this is the first ever, my first ever PC inside of a bar top. Again, a Dell Optiplex, budget beast back for some tender love and care and some updates. So again, we could go into it multiplayer I believe graphics set on this again are high again G the GTX 1050 Ti always does good Then like I said, I'm downloading a couple of uh, racing games. So we got Need for Speed Heat, uh, MotoGP, uh, Motocross game, um, uh, Dirt 2 Rally. I'm, again, just trying to update it. Now that I have it in my hands, literally a one-day project uh, for Morris. I obviously am not charging him because it's a quick thing. We don't have to update or change any um, kind of hard drives and such. So again, as you can see, Killer Instinct, buddy. Plays amazing. Again, you could even see it. Look at the graphics on this. I remember this, man. Even you could go back and you could see my excitement looking at and seeing the graphic intensity of these games. It's just amazing. I mean, there you guys have it. Again, the budget beast. Quick little video, quick little update. And Mars is ready to get this picked up tomorrow.